Chapter 46 The repentance of Sophia is not yet accepted. She is mocked by the eons. Jesus continued again in the discourse and said unto his disciples, It came to pass when Pista Sophia had finished uttering the sixth repentance for the forgiveness of her transgression, that she turned again to the height, to see if her sins were forgiven her, and to see whether they would lead her out of the chaos. But by commandment of the first mystery, not yet was she hearkened to, so that her sin should be forgiven and she should be led out of the chaos. When then she had turned to the height to see whether her repentance were accepted from her, she saw all the rulers of the twelve eons mocking at her and rejoicing over her because her repentance was not accepted from her. When then she saw that they mocked at her, she grieved exceedingly and lifted up her voice to the height in her seventh repentance, saying, 1. O light, I have lifted up my power unto thee, my light. 2. On thee have I had faith. Let me not be scorned. Let not the rulers of the twelve eons who hate me rejoice over me. 3. For all who have faith in thee shall not be put to shame. Let them who have taken away my power remain in darkness, and let them not get from it any profit, but let it be taken away from them. 4. O light, show me thy ways, and I shall be saved in them, and show me thy path, whereby I shall be saved out of the chaos. 5. And guide me in thy light, and let me know, O light, that thou art my Saviour, on thee will I trust the whole of any time. 6. Give heed that thou save me, O light, for thy mercy endureth for ever. 7. As to my transgression, which I have committed from the beginning in my ignorance, put it not to my account, O light, but rather save me through thy great mystery of the forgiveness of sins because of thy goodness, O light. 8. For good and sincere is the light, for this cause will it grant me my way to be saved out of my transgression. 9. And for my powers, which are diminished through the fear of the material emanations of self-willed, will it draw near after its commandment, and will teach my powers, which are diminished because of the merciless, its gnosis. 12. For all gnosis of the light are saving means, and are mysterious for all who seek the region of its inheritance and its mysteries. 11. For the sake of the mystery of thy name, O light, forgive my transgression, for it is great. 12. To every one who trusts in the light, it will give the mystery which suiteth him. 13. And his soul will abide in the regions of the light, and his power will inherit the treasury of the light. 14. The light giveth power to them who have faith in it, and the name of its mystery belongeth to those who trust in it and it will show them the region of the inheritance which is in the treasury of the light. 15. But I have ever had faith in the light, for it will save my feet from the bounds of the darkness. 16. Give heed unto me, O light, and save me, for thy have taken away my name from me in the chaos. 17. Because of all the emanations, my afflictions and my oppressions have become exceedingly manifold. Save me out of my transgressions endless darkness. 18. And look upon the grief of my oppression and forgive my transgression. 19. Give heed to the rulers of the twelve eons who have hated me through jealousy. 20. Watch over my power and save me, and let me not remain in the darkness for I have had faith in thee. 21. And they have made of me a great fool for having had faith in thee, O light. 22. Now therefore, O light, save my powers from the emanations of self-willed by whom I am oppressed. Now therefore, who is sober, let him be sober. When then Jesus had spoken this unto his disciples, Thomas came forward and said, My Lord, I am sober. I am plentiful sober, and my spirit is ready in me, and I rejoice exceedingly that thou hast revealed these words unto me. But indeed I have borne with my brethren until now, so that I should not anger them, 
Nay, rather, I have borne with every one that he should come before thee and speak the solution of the repentance of Pista Sophia. Now, therefore, my lord, concerning the solution of the seventh repentance of Pista Sophia, thy light power hath prophesied through the prophet David in the twenty-fourth psalm thus. 1. O Lord, unto thee have I lifted up my soul, O my God. 2. I have abandoned myself unto thee. Let me not be put to shame, and let not mine enemies mock at me. 3. For all who wait upon thee shall not be put to shame. Let them be put to shame who do inequity without a cause. 4. O Lord, show me thy ways, and teach me thy paths. 5. Lead me in the way of thy truth, and teach me. For thou art my God and my Savior, on thee will I wait all the day long. 6. Call to remembrance thy mercies, O Lord, and the favors of thy grace, for thou art from eternity. 7. Remember not the sins of my youth and those of my ignorance. Remember me according to the fullness of thy mercy, because of thy goodness, O Lord. 8. The Lord is gracious and sincere. Therefore will he instruct sinners in the way. 9. He will guide the tender-hearted in the judgment, and will teach the tender-hearted his ways. 10. All the ways of the Lord are grace and truth for them who seek his righteousness and his testimonies. 11. For thy name's sake, O Lord, forgive me my sin, for it is exceedingly great. 12. Who is the man who feareth the Lord? For him will he establish laws in the way which he hath chosen. 13. His soul will abide in good things, and his seed will inherit the land. 14. The Lord is the strength of them who fear him, and the name of the Lord belongeth to them who fear him, to make known unto them his covenant. 15. Mine eyes are raised ever unto the Lord, for he will draw my feet out of the snare. 16. Look down upon me, and be gracious unto me, for I am only begotten, I am wretched. 17. The afflictions of my heart have increased, bring me out of my necessities. 18. Look upon my abasement and my woe, and forgive me all my sins. 19. Look upon my enemies, how they have increased themselves, and hated me with unjust hatred. 20. Preserve my soul and save me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped on thee. 21. The simple and sincere have joined themselves to me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. 22. O God, deliver Israel from all his afflictions. And when Jesus had heard the words of Thomas, he said unto him, Well said, Thomas, and finally, this is the solution of the seventh repentance of Pista Sophia. Amen. Amen, I say unto you. All generations of the world shall bless you on earth, because I have revealed this unto you, and ye have received of my spirit, and have become understanding and spiritual, understanding what I say. And hereafter will I fill you full with the whole light and the whole power of the Spirit, so that ye may understand from now on all which shall be said unto you, and which you shall see. Yet a little while, and I will speak with you concerning the height without within, and within without. Chapter 47 Jesus leads Sophia to a less confined region, but without the commandment of the first mystery. Jesus continued again in the discourse, and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then, when Pista Sophia had uttered the seventh repentance in the chaos, that the commandment through the first mystery had not come to me, to save her and lead her up out of the chaos. Nevertheless of myself, out of compassion, without commandment, I led her into a somewhat spacious region in the chaos. And when the material emanations of self-will had noticed that she had been led into a somewhat spacious region in the chaos, they ceased a little to oppress her, for they thought that she would be led up out of the chaos altogether. When this then took place, Pista Sophia did not know that I was her helper, nor did she know me at all, but she continued and persisted with all singing praises to the light of the treasury, 
which she had seen after time, and on which she had had faith, and she thought that it the light also was her helper, and it was the same to which she had sung praises, thinking it was the light in truth. But as indeed she had faith in the light which belongeth to the treasury in truth, therefore will she be led up out of the chaos, and her repentance will be accepted from her. But the commandment of the first mystery was not yet accomplished to accept her repentance from her. But hearken now in order that I may tell you all things which befell Pistor Sophia. It came to pass, when I had led her unto a somewhat spacious region in the chaos, that the emanations of self-willed ceased entirely to oppress her, thinking that she would be led up out of the chaos altogether. It came to pass then, when the emanations of self-willed had noticed that Pista Sophia had not been led up out of the chaos, that they turned about again altogether, oppressing her vehemently. Because of this, then, she uttered the eighth repentance. Because they had not ceased to oppress her, and had turned about to oppress her to the utmost, she uttered this repentance, saying thus, 1. On thee, O light, have I hoped. Leave me not in the chaos. Deliver me, and save me according to thy gnosis. 2. Give heed unto me, and save me. Be unto me a Savior, O light, and save me, and lead me unto the light. 3. For thou art my Savior, and wilt lead me unto thee. And because of the mystery of thy name, lead me, and give me thy mystery. 4. And thou wilt save me from this lion-faced power which they have laid as a snare for me, for thou art my Saviour. 5. And in thy hands will I lay the purification of my light. Thou hast saved me, O light, according to thy gnosis. 6. Thou art become wroth with them who keep watch over me, and will not be able to lay hold of me utterly. But I have had faith in the light. 7. I will rejoice and will sing praises that thou hast had mercy upon me, and hast heeded and saved me from the oppression in which I was, and thou wilt set free my power out of the chaos. 8. And thou hast not left me in the hand of the lion-faced power, but thou hast led me into a region which is not oppressed. Chapter 48. The Emanations of Self-Willed Oppressor Again When then Jesus had said this unto his disciples, he answered again and said unto them, it came to pass then, when the lion-faced power had noticed that Pista Sophia had not been led up altogether out of the chaos, that it came again with all the other material emanations of self-willed, and they oppressed Pista Sophia again. It came to pass then, when they oppressed her, that she cried out in the same repentance, saying, 9. Have mercy upon me, O light, for thy have oppressed me again. Because of thy commandment, the light in me is distracted, and my power and my understanding. 10. My power hath begun to wane, whilst I am in these afflictions, and the number of my time, whilst I am in the chaos. My light is diminished, for they have taken away my power from me, and all the powers in me are tossed about. 11. I am become powerless in the presence of all the rulers of the eons who hate me, and in the presence of the four and twenty emanations in whose reign I was. And my brother, my pair, was afraid to help me because of that in which they had set me. 12. And all the rulers of the heights have counted me as matter in which is no light. I am become as a material power which hath fallen out of the rulers. 13. And all who are in the eon said, She hath become chaos. And thereafter all the pitiless powers encompass me together, and propose to take away the whole light in me. 14. But I have trusted in thee, O light, and said, Thou art my Saviour. 15. And my commandment, which thou hast decreed for me, is in thy hands. Save me out of the hands of the emanations of self-willed, which oppress me and persecute me. 16. Send thy light over me. For I am as not before thee, and save me according to thy compassion. 17. Let me not be despised, for I have sung praises unto thee, O light. Let chaos cover the emanations of self-willed. Let them be led down into the darkness. 18. 
Let the mouth of them be shut up who would devour me with guile, who say, Let us take the whole light in her, although I have done them no ill. Chapter 49 And when Jesus had spoken this, Matthew came forward and said, My Lord, thy spirit hath stirred me, and thy light hath made me sober to proclaim this eighth repentance of Pista Sophia. For thy power hath prophesied therefore aforetime through David in the thirtieth psalm, saying, 1. On thee, O Lord, have I hoped. Let me never be put to shame. Save me according to thy righteousness. 2. Incline thy ear unto me. Save me quickly. Be thou unto me a protecting God and a house of refuge to save me. 3. For thou art my support and my refuge. For thy name's sake thou wilt guide me and feed me. 4. And thou wilt draw me out of the snare which they have laid privately for me, for thou art my protection. 5. Into thy hands I will render my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. 6. Thou hast hated them who hold to vain emptiness, but I have trusted. 7. And I will rejoice because of my Lord, and make merry over thy grace. For thou hast looked down upon my humbleness, and saved my soul out of my necessities. 8. And thou hast not shut me up in the hands of my foes, thou hast set my feet on a broad space. 9. Be gracious unto me, O Lord, for I am afflicted, my eyes distracted in the wrath and my soul and my body. 10. For my years have wasted away in sadness, and my life is wasted in sign. My power is enfeebled in misery, and my bones are distracted. 11. I am become any mockery for all my foes and my neighbors. I am become a fright for my acquaintances, and they who saw me are fled away from me. 12. I am forgotten, and their heart is a corpse, and I have become as a ruined vessel. 13. For I have heard the scorn of many who encompass me around, massing themselves together against me. They took counsel to take away my soul from me. 14. But I have trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my Lord. 15. My lots are in thy hands. Save me from the hand of my foes, and free me from my persecutors. 16. Reveal thy face over thy slave, and free me according to thy grace, O Lord. 17. Let me not be put to shame, for I have cried unto thee. Let the impious be put to shame, and turn towards hell. 18. Let the crafty lips be stuck drum, which allege inequity against the righteous in pride and scorn. Chapter 50 Jesus commandeth Matthew, and promises disciples that they shall sit on thrones with him. And when Jesus had heard these words, he said, Finally said Matthew, Now therefore, Amen, I say unto you, When the perfect number is completed, and the universe is raised hence, I will take my seat in the treasury of the light, and ye yourselves will sit on twelve light powers, until we have restored all the orders of the twelve saviors to the region of the inheritance of every one of them. And when he had said this, he said, Understand ye what I say? Mary came forward and said, O Lord, concerning this matter, thou hast said to us aforetime in similitude, Ye have awaited with me in the trials, and I will bequeath unto you a kingdom as my Father hath bequeathed it unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and ye shall sit on twelve thrones and judge the twelve tribes of Israel. He said unto her, Well said, Mary. Jesus continued again and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then thereafter, when the emanations of self-willed oppressed Pista Sophia in the chaos, and she uttered the ninth repentance, saying, 1. O light, smite down them who have taken away my power from me, and take away the power from them who have taken away mine from me. 2. For I am thy power and thy light, come and save me. 3. Let great darkness cover my oppressors, say unto my power, I am he who will save thee. 4. Let all those who would take away my light from me utterly lack their power. 
let them face about under the chaos and become powerless, who would take away my light from me utterly. 5. Let their power be as dust, and let you, thy angel, smite them. 6. And if they would go into the height, let darkness seize upon them, and let them slip down and turn to the chaos. And let thy angel, you, pursue them, and cast them down into the darkness below. 7. For they have set a lion-faced power as a trap for me, although I have done them no ill, from which its light will be taken. And they have oppressed the power in me, which they will not be able to take away. 8. Now therefore, O light, take away the purification from the lion-faced power without its knowing it. The thought which self-willed hath thought to take away my light, take away his own, and let the light be taken away from the lion-faced power which set the trap for me. 9. But my power will exalt in the light and rejoice that he will save it. 10. And all the portions of my power shall say, There is no Savior but thee, for thou wilt save me out of the hand of the lion-faced power, which hath taken away my power from me, and thou savest me out of the hands of them, who have taken away my power and my light from me. 11. For they have risen up against me, lying against me, and saying, That I know the mystery of the light which is in the height, the light in which I have had faith. And they have constrained me, saying, Tell unto us the mystery of the light in the height, that which I know not. 12. And they have requited me with all this ill, because I have had faith in the light of the height, and they have made my power lightless. 13. But when they constrained me, I sat in the darkness, my soul bowed down in mourning. 14. And do thou, O light, for that reason sing I praise to thee, save me. I know that thou wilt save me, because I fulfilled thy will ever since I was in my aeon. I fulfilled thy will, as the invisibles who were in my region, and as my pair. And I mourned, looking unceasingly and searching for the light. 15. Now therefore have all the emanations of self-will surround me, and rejoiced over me, and so oppressed me without my knowing them. And they have fled away and ceased from me, but they have had no pity upon me. 16. They have returned again and made trial of me, and they have oppressed me in great oppression, and ground their teeth against me, desiring to take away my light from me utterly. 17. How long, therefore, O light, dost thou suffer them that they oppress me? Save my power from their evil thoughts, and save me from the hand of the lion-faced power for I alone of the invisibles am in this region. 18. I will sing praises unto thee, O light, in the midst of all who are gathered together against me, and I will cry unto thee in the midst of all who oppress me. 19. Now therefore, O light, let not them who hate me and desire to take away my power from me rejoice over me, who hate me and flash their eyes against me, though I have not done anything unto them. 20. For indeed they have fawned upon me with sweet words, asking me concerning the mysteries of the light which I know not, and have craftily spoken against me and been enraged against me, because I have had faith in the light and the height. 21. They have opened their chops against me and said, Well, indeed, we will take from her light. 22. Now therefore, O light, thou hast known their guile. Suffer them not, and let not thy help be far from me. 23. Quickly, O light, vindicate and avenge me. 24. And give judgment on me according to thy goodness. Now therefore, O light of lights, let them not take away my light from me. 25. And let them not say in their heart, Our power is glutted with her light. And let them not say, We have consumed her power. 26. But rather let darkness come upon them, and let those who long to take away my light from me become powerless, and let them be clothed with chaos and darkness who say there, We will take away her light and her power. 27. Now therefore save me, that I may rejoice, for I long for the thirteenth aeon, the region of righteousness, 
and I shall say forevermore, May the light of thy angel you shine more and more. 28. And my tongue will sing in praises to thee, and thy gnosis my whole time in the thirteenth eon. Chapter 51. It came to pass, when Jesus had finished saying these words unto his disciples, that he said unto them, Who is sober among you? Let him proclaim their solution. James came forward, kissed the breast of Jesus, and said, My Lord, thy spirit hath sobered me, and I am ready to proclaim their solution. Concerning them indeed thy power hath prophesied aforetime through David in the thirty-fourth psalm, saying thus concerning the ninth repentance of Pista Sophia. 1. Give sentence, O Lord, on them who do me injustice, and fight against them who fight against me. 2. Lay hand on weapon and shield, and stand up to help me. 3. Draw forth a sword, and conceal it from my oppressors. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. 4. Let them be put to shame, and abashed who strive after my soul. Let them fall back, and be put to shame, who imagine evil against me. 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord pursue after them. 6. Let their way be darkness and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord oppress them. 7. For without cause have they hid a snare for me for their own spoiling, and they have mocked at my soul in vain. 8. Let a snare come upon them, which they know not, and let the net which they have hid for me catch them, and let them fall into the snare. 9. But my soul will exult in the Lord, and rejoice in its salvation. 10. All my bones shall say, O Lord, who can be like unto thee? Thou who settest free the wretched from the hand of him who is stronger than him, and thou savest a wretched and poor one from the hands of them who spoil him. 11. Unjust witnesses come forward and have asked me that which I knew not. 12. They have requited me evil for good and childlessness for my soul. 13. But when they molested me, I clothed me in a sack and humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer will return into thy breast. 14. I was pleasing unto thee, as unto my neighbor and as unto my brother, and I have humbled myself as one in mourning and as one who is sad. 15. They have rejoiced over me, and they are put to shame. Scourges have gathered themselves together against me, and I knew not. They were cut off and were troubled. 16. They have brought me to trial and mocked me with mocking. They have ground their teeth against me. 17. O Lord, when wilt thou look upon me? Restore again my soul from their evil works, and save my only one from the hands of the lions. 18. I will confess to thee, O Lord, in the great assembly and I will sing praises to thee in the midst of countless people. 19. Let not them who unjustly treat me as a foe rejoice over me, who hate me without a cause and wink with their eyes. 20. For indeed they discourse with me with words of peace, though they plot wrath with craft. 21. They open their chops wide against me and said, Well, indeed, our eyes have filled our sight with him. 22. Thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, withdraw not thyself from me. 23. Arise, O Lord, and give heed to my vindication. Give heed to my vengeance, my God and my Lord. 24. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy justice. Let them not rejoice over me, my God. 25. And let them not say, Well done, our soul. Let them not say, We have consumed him. 26. Let them be put to shame and be scorned who rejoice at my mischance. Let them be clothed with shame and disgrace who speak boastfully against me. 27. Let them who desire my justification exalt and rejoice, and let them who desire the peace of his slaves say, May the Lord be great and rise. 28. My tongue will exalt over thy justification and over thy honor all the day long. Chapter 52 
Jesus commandeth James, and promised the first place unto the disciples. When James then had said this, Jesus said unto him, Well said, finally, James, this is the solution of the ninth repentance of Pista Sophia. Amen, amen, I say unto you. You shall be the first in the kingdom of heaven before all invisibles, and all gods and rulers who are in the thirteenth eon, and in the twelfth eon, and not only ye, but also every one who shall accomplish my mysteries. And when he had said this, he said unto them, Understand ye in what manner I discourse with you. Mary started forward again and said, Yea, O Lord, this is what thou didst say unto us after time. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. The first, then, who were created before us are the invisibles, for indeed they arose before mankind. They and the gods and the rulers, and the men who shall receive mysteries, will be first into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said unto her, Well said, Mary. Jesus continued again, and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then, when Pista Sophia had proclaimed the ninth repentance, that the lion-faced power oppressed her again, desiring to take away all powers from her. She cried out again to the light, saying, O light, in whom I have had faith from the beginning, for whose sake I have endured these great pains, help me. And in that hour her repentance was accepted from her. The first mystery hearkened unto her, and I was sent off at his command. I came to help her, and led her up out of the chaos, because she had repented, and also because she had faith in the light, and had endured these great pains and these great perils. She had been deluded through the godlike self-willed, and had not been deluded through anything else, save through a light power, because of its resemblance to the light in which she had faith. For this cause, then, was I sent forth at the command of the first mystery to help her secretly. I did not, however, yet go to the region of the eons at all, but I passed down through the midst of them, without any single power knowing it, either those of the interior of the interior, or those of the exterior of the exterior, save only the first mystery. It came to pass, then, when I came into the chaos to help her, that she saw me, that I was understanding and shown exceedingly, and was full of compassion for her. For I was not self-willed as the lion-faced power, which had taken away the light power from Sophia, and it also oppressed her in order to take away from her the whole light in her. Sophia then saw me, that I shone ten thousand times more than the lion-faced power, and that I was full of compassion for her. And she knew that I came out of the height of heights, in whose light she had faith from the beginning. Pista Sophia then took courage and uttered the tenth repentance, saying, 1. I have cried unto thee, O light of lights, in my oppression, and thou hast hearkened unto me. 2. O light, save my power from unjust and lawless lips, and from crafty traps. 3. The light which was being taken from me in crafty snaring will not be brought unto thee. 4. For the traps of the self-willed and the gnosis of the merciless one are spread out. 5. Woe unto me, that my dwelling was far off, and I was in the dwelling of the chaos. 6. My power was in regions which are not mine. 7. And I entreated these merciless ones, and when I entreated them they fought against me without a cause. Chapter 53 when then Jesus had said this unto his disciples, he said unto them, Now therefore, let him who his spirit stirreth come forward and speak the solution of the tenth repentance of Pista Sophia. Peter answered and said, O Lord, concerning this thy light power prophesied after time through David in the one hundred and nineteenth psalm, saying, 1. I cried unto thee, O Lord, in my oppression, and thou hearkest unto me. 2. O Lord, save my soul from unjust lips and from crafty tongues. 3. What will be given unto thee, or what will be added unto thee with a crafty tongue? 4. The arrows of the strong one are made sharp with the coal of the desert. 5. Woe unto me that my dwelling is far off, and I dwelt in the tents of Kedar. 6. 
My soul hath dwelt in many regions as a guest. 7. I was peaceful with them who hate peace. If I spake unto them, they fought against me without a cause. This is now, therefore, O Lord, the solution of the tenth repentance of Pista Sophia, which she hath uttered when the material emanations of self-will oppressed her, they in his lion-faced power, and when they oppressed her exceedingly. And Jesus said unto him, Well said, Peter, and finally, this is the solution of the tenth repentance of Pista Sophia. Chapter 54 Jesus continued again in the discourse, and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then, when this lion-faced power saw me, how I drew nigh unto Pista Sophia, shining very exceedingly, that it grew still more furious, and emanated from itself a multitude of exceedingly violent emanations. When this then befell, Pista Sophia uttered the eleventh repentance, saying, 1. Why hath the mighty power raised itself in evil? 2. Its plotting taketh away the light from me all the time, and as a sharp iron have they taken away power from me. 3. I choose to descend into the chaos rather than to abide in the thirteenth eon, the region of righteousness. 4. And they desire to lead me craftily in order to consume my whole light. 5. For this cause, then, will the light take away their whole light, and also their whole matter will be made not. And it will take away their light, and not suffer them to abide in the thirteenth eon, their dwelling place, and will not have their name in the region of those who shall live. 6. And the four and twenty emanations will see what hath befallen thee, O lion-faced power, and will be afraid, and not be disobedient, but give the purification of their light. 7. And they will see thee, and will rejoice over thee, and say, Lo, an emanation which hath not given the purification of its light, so that it may be saved, but boasted itself in the abundance of the light of its power, because it did not emanate from the power in it, and hath said, I will take away the light from Pista Sophia, which will now be taken from it. Now, therefore, let him in whom this power is raised come forward and proclaim the solution of the eleventh repentance of Pista Sophia. Then Solomon came forward and said, My Lord, concerning this the light-powered prophesied aforetime through David in the fifty-first psalm, saying, 1. Why doth thy mighty one boast himself in his wickedness? 2. Thy tongue hath studied unrighteousness all day long, as a sharp razor hast thou practiced craft. 3. Thou lovest wickedness more than goodness. Thou lovest to speak unrighteousness more than righteousness. 4. Thou lovest all words of submerging in a crafty tongue. 5. Wherefore will God bring thee to not utterly, and will uproot thee and drag thee out from thy dwelling place, and will root out the root and cast it away from the living? Selah. 6. The righteous will see and be afraid, and they will mock at him and say, 7. Lo, a man who made not God for his helper, but trusted to his great riches and was mighty in his vanity. 8. But I am as a fruit-bearing olive tree in the house of God. I have trusted in the grace of God from all eternity. 9. And I will confess unto thee, for thou hast dealt faithfully with me, and I will wait on thy name, for it is auspicious in the presence of thy holy ones. This then is now, therefore, my Lord, the solution of the eleventh repentance of Pista Sophia. While thy light power hath roused me, I have spoken it according to thy desire. It came to pass then, when Jesus had heard these words which Solomon spake, that he said, Well said, Solomon, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, I will perfect you in all mysteries of the kingdom of the light. Chapter 55 Self-willed abideth his emanations, and they again oppress Sophia. And Jesus continued in the discourse, and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then thereafter, that I drew near unto the chaos, shining very exceedingly, to take away the light from that lion-faced power. As I shone exceedingly, it was in fear, and cried out at self-willed God that he should help it. 
And the forthwith the self-willed God looked out of the thirteenth eon and looked down into the chaos, exceedingly wrathful and desiring to help his lion-faced power. And forthwith the lion-faced power, it and all its emanations, surrounded Pista Sophia, desiring to take away the whole light in Sophia. It came to pass then, when they oppressed Sophia, that she cried to the height, crying unto me that I should help her. It came to pass then, when she looked to the height, that she saw self-willed exceedingly wrathful, and she was in fear, and uttered the twelfth repentance because of the self-willed and his emanation. She cried on high unto me, saying, 1. O light, forget not my praise singing. 2. For self-willed and his lion-faced power have opened their chops against me, and have acted craftily against me. 3. They have surrounded me, desiring to take away my power, and have hated me, because I have sung praises unto thee. 4. Instead of loving me, they slandered me, but I sang praises. 5. They plotted a plot to take away my power, because I have sung to thee praises. O light, and hated me, because I have loved thee. 6. Let the darkness come over self-willed, and let the ruler of the outermost darkness abide at his right hand. 7. And when thou passest sentence, take from him his power, and the deed which he hath plotted to take from me my light, mayest thou take his from him. 8. And may all his powers of his light in him finish, and let another of the three triple powers receive his sovereignty. 9. May all the powers of his emanation be lightless, and may his matter be without any light in it. 10. May his emanations remain in the chaos, and not dare to go to their region. May their light in them die away, and let them not go to the thirteenth eon their region. 11. May the receiver, the purifier of the lights, purify all the lights which are unself-willed and take them from him. 12. May the rulers of the lower darkness rule over his emanations, and let no one give them shelter in his region, and let no one hearken to the power of his emanation in the chaos. 13. Let them take away the light in his emanation, and blot out his name from the thirteenth eon, yea, rather take his name for ever out of that region. 14. And on the lion-faced power let them bring the sin of him who emanated it before the light, and not wipe out the inequity of the matter which hath brought him self-willed forth. 15. And may their sin be altogether before the light eternally, and may they let them not look beyond the chaos and take their names out of all regions. 16. Because they have not spared me and have oppressed me whose light and whose power they have taken away, and also comfortly with those who set me therein, they desire to take away my whole light from me. 17. They love to descend to the chaos, so let them abide therein, and they shall not be brought up therefrom from now on. They desired not the region of righteousness for dwelling place, and they shall not be taken thither from now on. 18. He put on darkness as a garment, and it entered into him as water, and it entered into all his powers as oil. 19. Let him wrap himself into the chaos as into a garment, and gird himself with the darkness as with a leather girdle forever. 20. Let this befall them who have brought this upon me for the light's sake and ascend. Let us take away her whole power. 21. But do thou, O light, have mercy upon me for the sake of the mystery of thy name, and save me in the goodness of thy grace. 22. For they have taken away my light and my power, and my power hath inwardly tottered, and I could not stand upright in their midst. 23. I am become as matter which is fallen. I am tossed hither and thither as a demon in the air. 24. My power hath perished, because I possess no mystery, and my matter hath become dwindled because of my light, for they have taken it away. 25. And they have mocked me, they looked at me nodding at me. 26. Help me according to thy mercy. Now therefore, 
let him whose spirit is ready come forward and utter the solution of the twelfth repentance of Pista Sophia. Chapter 56 And Andrew came forward and said, Lord and Savior, thy light power hath prophesied aforetime through David concerning this repentance which Pista Sophia hath uttered, and said it in the 108th Psalm. 1. God, keep not silent at my praise singing. 2. For the mouth of the sinner and the crafty have opened their chops against me, and with crafty deceitful tongue have talked about me. 3. And they have surrounded me with words of hate, and have fought against me without a cause. 4. Instead of loving me, they have slandered me, but I prayed. 5. They showed evil against me for good, and hate for my love. 6. Set a sinner over him, and let the slander stand at his right hand. 7. When sentence is passed upon him, may he go forth condemned, and his prayer become sin. 8. May his days be shortened, and another receive his overseership. 9. May his children become orphans, and his wife a widow. 10. May his children be carried away, and be driven forth and beg. May they be thrown out of their houses. 11. May the money-lender sift out all that he hath, and may strangers plunder all his best efforts. 12. Let there be no man to back him, and no one to take pity on his orphans. 13. May his children be exterminated, and his name blotted out in a single generation. 14. Let the sin of the fathers be remembered before the Lord, and the sin of his mother be not blotted out. 15. Let them be ever present to the Lord, and his memory be rooted out from the earth. 16. In that he hath not thought of using mercy, and hath persecuted a poor and wretched man, and hath persecuted a sorry creature to slay him. 7. He loved cursing, and it shall come unto him. He desired not blessing, it shall stay far from him. 18. He clothed himself with cursing as with a vesture and it entered into his bowels as water, and it was as oil in his bones. 19. May it be for him as a garment in which he shall be wrapped, and as a girdle with which he shall ever be girded. 20. This is the work of them who slander me before the Lord, and speak unlawfully against my soul. 21. But do thou, O Lord God, be gracious unto me, for thy name's sake save me. 22. For I am poor and I am wretched, my heart is tumult within me. 23. I am carried away in the midst as a shadow which hath sunk down, and I am shaken out as a grasshopper. 24. My knees have become weak from fasting, and my flesh is altered from lack of oil. 25. But I have become a mock unto them. They saw me and wagged their heads. 26. Help, O Lord God, and save me according to thy grace. 27. May they know that this is thy hand, and that thou, O Lord, hast fashioned them. This is then the solution of the twelfth repentance which Pista Sophia uttered when she was in the chaos. Chapter 57. And Jesus continued again in the discourse and said unto his disciples, It came to pass again thereafter that Pista Sophia cried unto me, saying, O light of lights, I have transgressed in the twelve eons, and I have descended from them. Wherefore have I uttered the twelve repentance, one for each eon? Now therefore, O light of lights, forgive me my transgression, for it is exceedingly great, because I have abandoned the regions of the height, and have come to dwell in the regions of the chaos. When then Pista Sophie had said this, she continued again in the thirteenth repentance, saying, 1. Hearken unto me singing praises unto thee, O light of lights. Hearken unto me uttering the repentance for the thirteenth eon, the region out of which I have come down, in order that the thirteenth repentance of the thirteenth eon may be accomplished, those eons which I have overstepped and out which I have come down. 2. Now therefore, O light of lights, hearken unto me singing praises unto thee in the thirteenth eon, my region out of which I have come down. 3. Save me, O light, in thy great mystery, 
and forgive my transgression in thy forgiveness. 4. And give unto me the baptism, and forgive my sins, and purify me for my transgression. 5. And my transgression is the lion-faced power, which will never be hidden from thee, for because of it have I gone down. 6. And I alone among the invisibles, in whose region I was, have transgressed, and have gone down into the chaos. Moreover, I have transgressed, that thy commandment may be accomplished. This then Pista Sophia said, Now therefore let him whose spirit urges to understand her words come forward and proclaim her thought. Martha came forward and said, My Lord, my spirit urges me to proclaim the solution of that which Pista Sophia hath spoken. Thy power hath prophesied aforetime concerning it through David in the fiftieth psalm, saying thus, 1. Be gracious unto me, O God, according to thy great grace. According to the fullness of thy mercy, blot out my sin. 2. Wash me throughly from my iniquity. 3. And may my sin be ever present to thee. 4. That thou mayest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou judgest me. This is then the solution of the words which Pista Sophie hath uttered. Jesus said unto her, Well said, finally, Martha, blessed one. Chapter 58 Jesus sendeth forth a light power to help Sophia. And Jesus continued again in the discourse and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then, when Pista Sophia had said these words, that the time was fulfilled that she should be led out of the chaos. And of myself, without the first mystery, I dispatched out of myself a light power, and I sent it down to the chaos, so that it might lead Pista Sophia forth from the deep regions of the chaos, and lead her to the higher regions of the chaos, until the command should come from the first mystery, that she should be led entirely forth out of the chaos. And my light power led Pista Sophia up to the higher regions of the chaos. It came to pass then, when the emanations of self-willed had noticed that Pista Sophia was led forth into the higher regions of the chaos, that they also sped after her upwards, desiring to bring her again into the lower regions of the chaos. And my light power, which I had sent to lead Sophia out of the chaos, shone exceedingly. It came to pass then, when the emanations of self-willed pursued Sophia, when she had been led into the higher regions of the chaos, that she again sang praises and cried out unto me, saying, 1. I will sing praises unto thee, O light, for I desired to come unto thee. I will sing thee praises, O light, for thou art my deliverer. 2. Leave me not in the chaos. Save me, O light of the height, for it is thou that I have praised. 3. Thou hast sent me thy light through thyself, and hast saved me. Thou hast led me to the higher regions of the chaos. 4. May the emanations of self-willed which pursue me sink down into the lower regions of the chaos, and let them not come to the higher regions to see me. 5. And may great darkness cover them, and darker gloom come over them. And let them not see me in the light of thy power, which thou hast sent unto me to save me, so that they may not again get dominion over me. 6. And let not their resolution, which they have formed, to take away my power, take effect for them. And as they have spoken against me, to take from me my light, take rather from them theirs instead of mine. 7. And they have proposed to take away my whole light, and have not been able to take it, for thy light power was with me. 8. Because they have taken counsel without thy commandment, O light, therefore have they not been able to take away my light. 9. Because I have had faith in the light, I shall not be afraid, and the light is my deliverer, and I shall not fear. Now therefore let him whose power is exalted speak the solution of the words which Pista Sophia hath uttered. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished speaking these words unto his disciples, that Salome came forward and said, My Lord, my power constrained me to speak the solution of the words which Pista Sophia hath uttered. The power hath prophesied aforetime through Solomon, saying, 1. I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, for thou art my God. 2. Abandon me not, O Lord, for thou art my hope. 3. 
Thou hast given me thy vindication for naught, and I am saved through thee. 4. Let them who pursue me fall down, and let them not see me. 5. May a smoke cloud over their eyes, and an air mist darken them, and let them not see the day, so that they may not seize me. 6. May their resolution be impotent, and may what they concoct come upon them. 7. They have devised a resolution, and it hath not taken effect for them. 8. And they are vanquished, although they be mighty, and what they have wickedly prepared is fallen upon them. 9. My hope is in the Lord, and I shall not be afraid, for thou art my God, my Saviour. It came to pass then, when Salome had finished, saying these words, that Jesus said unto her, Well said, Salome, and finally, this is the solution of the words which Pista Sophia hath uttered. Chapter 59 the power sent by Jesus formeth a light wreath on Sophia's head. And Jesus continued again in the discourse and said unto his disciples, It came to pass then, when Pista Sophia had finished saying these words in the chaos, that I made the light power which I had sent to save her, become a light wreath on her head, so that from now on the emanations of self-will could not have dominion over her. And when it had become a light wreath around her head, all the evil matters in her were shaken, and all were purified in her. They perished and remained in the chaos, while the emanations of self-willed gaze upon them and rejoiced. And the purification of the pure light which was in Pista Sophia gave power to the light of my light power, which had become a wreath around her head. It came to pass then, moreover, when it surrounded the pure light in Sophia, and their pure light did not depart from the wreath of the power of the light flame, so that the emanations of self-willed should not rob it from it. When then this befell her, the pure light power in Sophia began to sing praises. And she praised my light power, which was a wreath round her head, and she sang praises, saying, 1. The light hath become a wreath around my head, and I shall not depart from it, so that the emanations of self-willed may not rob it from me. 2. And though all the matters be shaken, yet shall I shall not be shaken. 3. And though all my matters perish and remain in the chaos, those which the emanations of self-willed see, yet shall I not perish. 4. The light is with me, and I myself am with the light. These words, then, Pista Sophia uttered. Now, therefore, let him who understand the thought of these words come forward and proclaim their solution. Then Mary, the mother of Jesus, came forward and said, My son, according to the world, my God and Savior, according to the height, bid me proclaim the solution of the words which Pista Sophia uttered. And Jesus answered and said, Thou also, Mary, hast received form which is in Barbello, according to matter, and hast received likeness which is in the Virgin of Light, according to light. Thou and the other Mary, the Blessed One, and on thy account the darkness hath arisen. And moreover out of thee did come forth the material body in which I am, which I have purified and refined. Now therefore, I bid thee proclaim the solution of the words which Pista Sophia hath uttered. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, answered and said, My Lord, thy light power hath prophesied aforetime concerning these words through Solomon in the nineteenth ode, and said, 1. The Lord is on my head as a wreath, and I shall not depart from him. 2. The wreath is truth, is woven for me, and it hath caused thy twigs to sprout in me. 3. For it is not like unto a wreath withered that sprouteth not, but thou art alive on my head, and thou hast sprouted upon me. 4. Thy fruits are full and perfect, filled with thy salvation. It came to pass then, when Jesus had heard his mother Mary say these words, that he said unto her, Well said, finally, Amen, Amen, I say unto thee. Thy shall proclaim thee blessed from one end of the earth to the other, for the pledge of the first mystery hath taken up its abode with thee, and through that pledge shall all from the earth and all from the heights be saved, and that pledge is the beginning and the end. Chapter 60 
The commandment of the first mystery is fulfilled for taking Sophia entirely out of the chaos. And Jesus continued again in the discourse and said unto his disciples, It came to pass when Pistis Sophia had uttered the thirteenth repentance. In that hour was fulfilled the commandment of all the tribulations which were decreed for Pistis Sophia for the fulfillment of the first mystery, which was from the beginning, and the time had come to save her out of the chaos and lead her out from all the darkness. For her repentance was accepted from her through the first mystery, and that mystery sent me a great light power out of the height that I might help Pistis Sophia and lead her up out of the chaos. So I looked towards the eons into the height, and saw the light power which the first mystery had sent me, that I might save Pista Sophia out of the chaos. It came to pass, therefore, when I had seen it, coming forth from the eons and hastening down to me, I was above the chaos, that another light power went forth out of me, that it too might help Pista Sophia. And the light power which had come from the height through the first mystery, came down upon the light power which had gone out of me, and they met together and became a great stream of light. When then Jesus had said this unto his disciples, he said, Understand ye in what manner I discourse with you. Mary started forward again and said, My Lord, I understand what thou sayest. Concerning the solution of this word thy light power hath prophesied aforetime through David in the 84th Psalm, saying, 10. Grace and truth met together, and righteousness and peace kissed each other. 11. Truth sprouted forth out of the earth, and righteousness looked down from heaven. Grace, then, is the light power which hath come down through the first mystery, for the first mystery hath hearkened unto Persia Sophia, and hath had mercy on her in all her tribulations. Truth, on the other hand, is the power which hath gone forth out of thee, for that thou hast fulfilled the truth in order to save her out of the chaos. And righteousness again is the power which has come forth through the first mystery which will guide Pista Sophia. And peace again is the power which hath gone forth out of thee, so that it should enter into the emanations of self-willed, and take them from the lights which ye have taken away from Pista Sophia, that is, so that they mayest gather them together in Pista Sophia and make them at peace with her power. Truth, on the other hand, is the power which went forth out of thee, when thou wast in the lower regions of the chaos. For this cause thy power has said through David, Truth sprouted out of the earth. Because thou wert in the lower regions of the chaos. Righteousness, on the other hand, which hath looked down from heaven, it is the power which hath come down from the height through the first mystery, and hath entered into Pista Sophia. Chapter 61 It came to pass then, when Jesus had heard these words, that he said, Well said, Mary, blessed one, who shall inherit the whole light kingdom. Therein Mary, the mother of Jesus, also came forward and said, My Lord and my Savior, give commandment unto me also that I repeat this word. And Jesus said, Whose spirit is understanding, him I do not prevent. But I urge him on still more to speak the thought which hath moved him. Now therefore, Mary, my mother, according to matter, though in whom I have sojourned, I bid thee that also speak the thought of the discourse. And Mary answered and said, My Lord, concerning the word which thy power hath prophesied through David, grace and truth met together, righteousness and peace kissed each other, truth sprouted forth out of the earth, and righteousness looked down from heaven. Thus hath the power prophesied this word after time about thee. When thou wert little, before the Spirit had come upon thee, whilst thou wert in the vineyard with Joseph, the Spirit came out of the height, and came to me in my house, like unto thee. And I had not known him, but I thought that thou wast he. And the Spirit said unto me, Where is Jesus my brother, that I meet with him? And when he had said this unto me, I was at a loss, and thought it was a phantom to try me. So I seized him, and bound him to the foot of the bed in my house, until I went forth to you to thee and Joseph in the field. And I found you on the vineyard, Joseph propping up the vineyard. It came to pass, therefore, when thou didst hear me speak the word unto Joseph, that thou didst understand the word, were joyful, and said, Where is he, that I may see him, 
else I wait him in this place. And it came to pass, when Joseph had heard thee say these words, that he was startled. And we went down together, entered the house, and found the spirit bound to the bed. And we looked on thee and him, and found thee like unto him. And he was bound to the bed, was unloosed. He took thee in his arms, and kissed thee, and thou also did kiss him. Ye became one. This, then, is the word and its solution. Grace is the spirit which hath come down out of the height to the first mystery, for it hath had mercy on the race of men, and sent its spirit that he should forgive the sins of the whole world, and they should receive the mysteries and inherit the light kingdom. Truth, on the other hand, is the power which hath sojourned with me. When it had come forth out of Barbello, it became material body for thee, and hath made proclamation concerning the region of truth. Righteousness is thy spirit, who hath brought the mysteries out of the height, to give them to the race of men. Peace, on the other hand, is the power which hath so joined into the material body, according to the world, which hath baptized the race of men, until it should make it stranger unto sin, and make it at peace with thy spirit, so that they may be at peace with the emanations of the light, that is, grace and truth kissed each other. As it saith, truth sprouted forth out of the earth. Truth is thy material body, which sprouted forth out of me according to the world of men, and hath made proclamation concerning the region of truth. And again as it saith, Righteousness looked down from heaven. Righteousness is the power which looked out on the height, which will give the mysteries of the light to the race of men so they will become righteous and good, and inherit the light kingdom. It came to pass then, when Jesus had heard these words, which his mother Mary spake, that he said, Well said, finally Mary. Chapter 62 The other Mary came forward and said, My Lord, bear with me, and be not wroth with me. Yea, from the moment when thy mother spake with thee concerning the solution of these words, my power disquieted me to come forward and likewise to speak the solution of these words. Jesus said unto her, I bid thee speak their solution. Mary said, My Lord, grace and truth met together. Grace, then, is the Spirit who hath come upon thee, when thou didst receive the baptism from John. Grace, then, is the godly Spirit who hath come upon thee. He hath had mercy on the race of men hath come down and hath met with the power of Sabaoth, the good which is in thee, and which hath made proclamation concerning the regions of truth. It hath said again, Righteousness and peace kissed each other. Righteousness, then, is the spirit of the light, which did come upon thee, and hath brought the mysteries in the height, to give them unto the race of men. Peace, on the other hand, is the power of Sabaoth, the good which is in thee, he hath baptized, and hath forgiven the race of men, and it hath made them at peace with the sons of the light. And moreover, as thy power has said through David, truth sprouted forth of the earth. That is the power of Sabaoth the good, which sprouted forth out of Mary, thy mother, the dweller on earth. Righteousness, which looked down from heaven, on the other hand, is the spirit in the height which hath brought all mysteries of the height, and given unto the race of men and they have become righteous and good, and have inherited the light kingdom. And it came to pass, when Jesus had heard Mary speaking these words, that he said, Well said, Mary, inheritress of the light. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, again came forward, fell down at his feet, kissed them, and said, My Lord, my Son, and my Savior, be not wroth with me, but pardon me, that I may once more speak the solution of these words. Grace and truth met together, it is I, Mary, thy mother, and Elizabeth, mother of John, whom I have met. Grace, then, is the power of Sabaoth in me, which went forth out of me, which thou art. Thou hast had mercy on the whole race of men. Truth, on the other hand, is the power in Elizabeth with the John, who did come and hath made proclamation concerning the way of truth, which thou art, who hath made proclamation before thee. And again, grace and truth met together. That is thou, my Lord, thou who didst meet John on the day when thou hadst to receive the baptism. And again thou and John are righteousness and peace kissed each other. Truth has sprouted forth on the earth, and righteousness looked down from heaven. 
This is during the time when thou didst minister unto thyself, thou didst have the form of Gabriel, thou didst look upon me from heaven and spoke with me. And when thou hast spoken with me, thou didst sprout up in me. That is the truth, that is the power of Sabawath the good, which is in thy material body. That is the truth which sprouted up out of the earth. It came to pass then, when Jesus had heard his mother Mary speak these words, that he said, Well said, and finally, this is a solution of all the words concerning which my light power hath prophesied after time through the prophet David. The note of a scribe. Now these are the names which I will give from the boundless onward. Write them with a sign that the sons of God may be revealed from here on. This is the name of the immortal. A A A O O O. And this is the name of the voice, for the sake of which the perfect man hath set himself in motion. I I I. And these are the interpretations of the names of the mysteries. The first name, which is Ah, A A A. Its interpretation is F F F. The second, which is M M M, or O O O. Its interpretation is A A A. The third, which is P S P S P S. Its interpretation is O O O. The fourth, which is F. F F its interpretation is N N N the fifth which is D D D its interpretation is A A A he on the throne is A A A this is the interpretation of the second A A A A A A A A A A A A this is the interpretation of the whole name so ends the first book of Pista Sophia.